Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Cheshire. I'm an internal medicine physician, and I've practiced primary care for over a decade. Today, I'm talking about patient education and pain management and how we discuss pain treatment options with our patients in a, a patient-centered way using clear, concise language with patient-friendly terms. I want to start with a case. Let's consider a 55-year-old patient that comes to see you for knee pain. The knee pain is secondary to osteoarthritis. There's so many ways to begin to approach this patient, but what we do and what we say to our patient and the treatment options that we discuss can have impacts on the patient's acceptance of the pain treatment plan and really the response to therapy. So it's very important that we are able to discuss a variety of pain treatment options with our patients and involve them in that process. There's various evidence-based treatment options for pain. So how do we come up with a pain treatment plan? First, we need to understand that our patient may come to us with expectations. They might have a specific treatment in mind. We need to address that. But we need to provide education to them about the pain treatment options that they might not be aware of. We want to discuss what their goals and preferences are, and that we can tie our pain treatment options into those preferences for our patients. We also need to be aware that there are financial and environmental and systemic barriers to certain modalities of pain treatment. All in all, we want to make sure that we're doing our best to employ a multimodal strategy for our patients, as this will increase the effectiveness of our pain treatment plan. What I like to do is to think of our pain treatment options as a buffet. Now, my wife does not like buffets, but I can see some advantage to them. When I go to a buffet, I can sample a variety of foods, things that I might not order as an entree, and I can see if I like it or not. A buffet in terms of pain treatment options gives you that same advantage. Patients can sample different treatment modalities, they may work for the patient, they may not. They may be able to try a pain treatment modality that they weren't initially willing to try if we do that in the context of a multimodal strategy. It can be daunting to think of how to come up with enough treatment options to create a buffet of options. That might not seem realistic. So let's take this example of knee osteoarthritis. We have guidance from the American College of Rheumatology of how to approach this specific pain complaint. If we look at non-pharmacologic strategies, there's several strongly recommended strategies we can employ. That includes exercise, weight loss, Tai Chi, the use of a cane, a tibiofemoral brace. Uh, we can use self-management programs. These have a high level of evidence and are strongly recommended. Conditional recommendations for non-pharmacologic treatment for knee pain can include balance training, cognitive behavioral therapy, thermal interventions, acupuncture. And then we can look at pharmacotherapy. Strongly recommended strategies for osteoarthritis pain for the knee could include topical NSAIDs, oral NSAIDs, or intraarticular steroids. There's other pharmacologic options that we can use that are conditionally recommended including acetaminophen, duloxetine, topical capsaicin, and tramadol. If we look at all these options for something as simplistic as osteoarthritic knee pain, you can see that you can bring this buffet of options and discuss them with our patient. Some are going to be appropriate to our patient. Not all will. But we can involve the patient in that discussion we can educate them on what these different modalities look like, what they'll entail. We'll begin to work through some of those financial barriers for a more cost-effective option versus a more expensive option. We'll be able to look at what environmental barriers there might be. Maybe the patient doesn't have the ability to walk in their neighborhood and exercise where they want to, and we can work through that. Maybe we look at another modality. Maybe we modify the modalities we've offered so far. But through this, the patient's involved. So if we go back to that case, our 54-year-old with the knee pain, what treatment option is going to be best for that patient? I can't tell you. That'll have to be a discussion with us and that patient. 
And as a clinician, you'll come to that strategy together and it'll be a very patient centered approach to addressing that complaint. So to summarize, there's multiple ways to treat pain. What we need to do is challenge ourselves to become familiar with the evidence-based strategies that we have so that we can begin to offer these variety of treatment options and fit those options to our specific patient. And then we can bring to the table, so to speak, those options for our patient and have a better patient-centered plan of care. Thank you for watching.